Why should I remember shrimp on the barbie? Acro is angry. What do you, what do you got? Okay. Anyway. This is like child language. Like a kid. I, Mama, I want a biki. Ye le bete biki khale. le. <laughs> it's inspired by Pakistanis, I think. Pakistanis in Australia did this. Assalamu alaikum. Some of you folks from Down Enda uh, sent me a bunch of Aussie words that you think I won't know what they mean. So I'm going to go through a few of them and I haven't gone through this list before so I'm going to try to figure out what they mean. I'm going to read them to you. Here's number one. Uh, Straya. That's obvious. Australia. Because um, we do this in Pakistan. Like we don't say assalamu alaikum. We say slakum. So slakum, you can tell, is assalamu alaikum. So straya, Australia. Yeah, I can tell. Okay? That one's easy. All right, let's move on. Maccas. Maccas. I know this is McDonald's, and I'll tell you why. It is McDonald's. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll tell you why. Because the first time I came to Australia, the brothers, after the event, I had a story night. They're like, everything's closed. Yeah, let's go to Maccas. I was like, we're such an Islamic restaurant. Maccas? We're going to go to Maccas and have halal? No, no, bro. It's Maccas. I was like, what? Maccas? And they drove to a McDonald's. I was like, okay. You guys call McDonald's Maccas? They're like, yeah. And then some police pulled in. He goes, oh, there's some jeks here. I was like, oh, so jeks at the Meccas, the police at McDonald's. That's how I know. Okay, next one. Servo. I'm going to say this is a waiter. Hey, servo. Serve. Uh, oh, it's a, it's a petrol station. Or we call it a gas station in America. Servo? I guess service, okay, short for service location. I don't know. Mazi or Mazi. Mazi or Mazi? Mazi. Is that short for Muslim? Like, you Mazis? You Mazis ruining our community? It's a mosquito, okay. Okay, so it's, it's not derogatory for Muslims, okay. I hope I didn't start something now where Muslims start getting called Mazis. <laughs> Arvo. I have no clue what to even think of. What could, what could Arvo be? I don't Nothing comes to mind. Please help me. Please help. Afternoon? I could have spent the entire Arvo figuring this out. Arvo. Yeah, nah. Now this is either affirmative or negative. I'm gonna go with... It's an affirmative. The, of course. Oh, it's nah. Yeah, nah. Oh, it's like in English, like in normal, like human English, not Australian. Yeah, no. Okay, okay. No, yeah. Okay, that's gotta be yes. Come on, it's, it's still a flip. Yes, it's a yes. Okay, okay. All right. Agro. Clearly someone who works in the agricultural industry. You're a farmer, you must be an agro. Obvious, yes, yes. Ang <laughs> angry. <laughs> agro is angry? What do you, what do you got? Okay. Anyway. Barbie. Clearly not the movie, and you're not referring to the... Maybe it's a derogatory term for uh, some women, I don't know. Or somebody who's being... acting a little bougie, they're being a Barbie, I don't, I don't know. Barbecue! Oh, I should have remembered shrimp on the Barbie. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrimp, okay, yeah, Barbie, yeah. Biggie. Is this their way of saying my bicycle? Go ride a bike, ride a biggie. I can't think of it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with bicycle. Biscuit. This is like child language. Like a kid. I, Mama, I want a biggie. Ye le bete biggie khale. Biggie khale. This is very. <laughs> it's inspired by Pakistanis, I think. Pakistanis in Australia did this. Would you mean a bete biggie khale ka? Sunnies. Children. Sons, sunnies. Children. Right? Little sunnies running around. Right? Sunglasses. Okay, could have called sh could have called this shades, but okay, sunnies. Ta, marbuta. Ta, is it like kaboom? Like ta? Just like, I'm, I'm gonna go with Urdu inspiration again. Ta se mara Ta. Yeah, just boom. Thank you. Oh, like thank you. Okay, ta. Okay. Brekki. Oh, that's breakfast. Come on. Brekki's got. If it's not breakfast, I quit this. Okay, breakfast. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have some brekki. I'm gonna have a Bobby at the brekkie with a bicky. 
Mate, friend, obviously. Okay, all right. Uh, sicky. I mean, the obvious is a patient in the hospital. Hey, you bunch of sickies, right? Like, sicky patient, patient? Sickly. I'm gonna take a sicky. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll give you that. I, I might use it. Uh, brawly. Brawly. What is, is when bro, bros hang out, it's a brawly? What's the car? Yo, let's get together for a brawly. Bros hanging out. Umbrella. <laughs> Sorry, bros. So apparently I got five out of 3,000 right, but don't be aggro. But let's get together at story night and have a bicky. <laughs> you might not recognize me because I'll be wearing my sunnies, ta very much. <laughs> but when I do come, yes, I'm gonna come to Straya pretty soon. And why don't you come and educate me with some of the words that I may not yet be familiar with. Perhaps we might even hang out later on for a Bobby and watch a movie <laughs> but I am in all seriousness I am coming to Australia really excited about it and inshallah I'll see you guys all there teach me some new stuff okay I'm not meeting you at Mecca's the Jacks will be there okay, okay bye. look out for Ostad Norman's five city Australia tour this October and November get your tickets now at whiteflame.com.au forward slash NAK.